Hey, what's up, YouTube? Mar here from Little Ladies Up Against Obscenos and Candy Shop in G2 Siege. This is the second to last siege for the season, and I am recording this one live. Let's jump into it. So, first off, we're gonna hit this MST defense. We're gonna bring in Tractor, Windy Lulu. And we should be fine. Oh, I almost skipped sharing the runes. Here are the runes. And I should probably put my Lulu on minus dark. We're gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Alright, the Lulu is on minus dark. Now let's go into this one. It's been a while since I've recorded a live siege. It's been months, honestly. Okay, so far so good. We're gonna try to stun up the Martina. She gets cleansed. Uh, I was about to use skill 2 here because I am a little bit nervous. Alright, we're gonna just focus this Martina down first. We get defense broken on the Lulu. That's not good here. Can we do proc? We should be able to kill here. Nice. Clutch kill. And we should be fine at this point. Alright. The Triana is down. Now let's go ahead and see what else is up. Now we're going to hit this Geldnir, Theo, and Ophelia defense. We're going to use Galleon, Tiana, and Poseidon. Hopefully Galleon could actually land the defense break this time. And we can get the pushbacks. We want to try to go 10-0 for these last couple of sieges. Okay, can we land the defense breaks? Please, Galleon, please. Okay, nice to get the triple defense break. Can we get the pushbacks? And hopefully, they aren't that tanky. Oof, that's not good. We get stunned up here. That's as bad as it can get. Okay, we're going to go for the pushback on the Theo. And we're going to use skill 2. Can we get a stun? That's not good. That is not good at all. We're just going to use skill 2. Damn it, dude. Okay, we need to kill this Theo ASAP. Bro. No, she put the invincibility on the Theo. This is not looking any good here. We're going to try to push him back. And we're going to go for the stun. We're just going to go for the stun on him. Nice, we get the stun. Hopefully he doesn't proc. Please don't proc, Theo. Please don't proc. Do we go for the skill too? Yeah, we're going to go for the skill too. Fuck it. Okay, we're going to use skill 3. We should be able to kill the Theo. Nice, we get the pushback. Of course she's going to proc. We might lose to these two, honestly. Mm, do I want to go for the skill 3? We're going to go for the skill 3. Into a skill 1. And then use skill 2. And then another skill too. Damn, she's doing pretty good damage here. We're going to go for the Geldnir. No. Oh, no, 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 no. What should I go for? Do I go for the Geldnir or do I go for the Ophelia? We're going to go for the Geldnir. Can we stun? Oh, my God. Yeah, this is probably screwed at this point. We're going to use skill 3. I think Poseidon has his skill 3 back. And can we... We're not going to be able to kill him, huh? Oh, yes, we do. Thankfully. Woo! That was sketchy. I wasn't expecting it to drag out this long. I thought we are going to lose. Thankfully, the Theo didn't proc. I'm going to share that replay because that was a little bit of a clencher. Now, we're going to hit this Sylvia, Theo, and Iris defense with... The Feng Yan, Tetra, and Leo combo. So hopefully we should be fine here. Let's hope that Theo doesn't proc too much. Let's hope it, that he doesn't hurt too much, honestly. Okay, can we get the pushback here? A little bit of a pushback. We need skill 2. He goes for the Feng Yan. Okay, we're going to be able to, to bubble him up. We get stunned up, though. This is not that good. Okay, we're gonna go for the Theo, even though it's a little bit sketchy here. Now we're gonna go for the Sylvia. Can we strip? No strip, strip, no strip. Can we land a dot? Okay, we land a dot. And he should be able to go down to the dot if he procs. Nice! All right. <laughs> the little risk paid off. 
And we should be good from this point on. We're going to go for the Sylvia. I should have bubbled up the Leo. Just to have him back up. We get rid of the Sylvia. Now it's a 3v1. And we should be good. They said Mario in the chat. Not paying attention to what they said, but I'll check it after. Alright. There we go, GG's. Be sure to get my good side on the YouTube video. Shout out to you, English Wraith. I'll make sure of that. <laughs> Next up, we're going to hit this Chandra Ken and Savannah defense with Juno, Windy, and Camilla. Not too sure if I used to use this team into it, but we'll see if it works. I think I used to use something else instead of the Juno. Okay, he's going to go for the Windy. He gets the Branding. Not looking too good here. Okay, they're going to focus the Windy. We need to take a turn. Uh, we're going to go for the skill 2 strip. We do strip it. We're going to freeze the can. And then we use skill 2 on the Windy. Okay, we should be fine at this point. We're going to go for the Ken. We get the stun. Nice. And as soon as we get rid of him, we can probably hit auto. All right. Woo! Hope you guys are having a great one. Hope you guys enjoyed this live commentary. It's pretty rare on my part. If you guys want to see more, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll try to do this a bit more often. I've been a bit more free at this time, at siege time. So if I can record this, I will. If not, it'll be post-commentary like usual. But yeah, it's pretty fun, pretty nice recording it this way. You guys get to hear my live reaction. It's a lot better than the post-commentary one. And yeah, let's see if we can get the 10-0 this time. That is the goal for you guys. I'm going to try to hit the 10-0. Okay, we get rid of the Savannah, 3v1, and we win this match. On to the next one. Now they do have a tower full of Vigor, Molly, and Fukis, and I'm really tempted to Lucian one of these, even though they're probably Lucian traps. Hmm, should I do it? If there's one available in a bit, I'll probably try it out. Alright, we are going to risk it. We're going to use Myrne, Dova, and Lucian for this one, and we're going to gamble that that isn't a fast Vigor. That way we can use these fight sets. Let's hope that we're right here, though. <laughs> I'm, I'm so nervous. We're just going to go for it. Send it. I did put plus win on my Lucian, so he can hopefully kill the Fuki at least. Okay, we do cut. We do go first. Does he cut? He doesn't cut. We're going to boost up the Lucian. And can we kill here? Please. Oh, okay. Nice. We do get the win. Well, not yet. Yeah, I don't want to say just yet. Never mind, we do get the win. GG's. Next up, we're going to hit this Feng Yan, Camilla, and the Leica defense with Tessa, Nana, and Riley. I was thinking about maybe using Camilla instead of the Riley, but I guess this will work. We're going to put some minus wind on her. All right, hopefully she can tank it. Let's go into it. We're going to go for the Leica if possible. Get the stack. Yeah, we're going to go for Leica first. Nice, we get the Oblivion. We're going to just use skill 1 for now. Okay, nice. Skill 2 coming out. We have a high YouTube from Sir Olaf. Hi, Landy. This is live. And there goes the Leica. Now, the sketchy part. We're just going to go for the Camilla for now. And we're going to use skill 2. The Feng Yan's probably going to defense break the Nana though. Okay, yeah. We're going to go for the Camilla still. Nice stun. No stun. Okay, she didn't proc out of it. We're gonna heal up. Okay, now we can go for the Feng Yan here. We're just gonna go for it anyways. We land a defense break though. Can we stun? We don't land the stun. Is she gonna freeze? She gets the freeze. Okay, that was a little bit of a greedy play on my part. Hi, Future K watching Mario's videos. Uh, skill 3. We're just going to go for the stun. Okay, no stun. Oblivion. He's going to cleanse it off anyways. Okay, he cleanses it off. Okay, we're going to go for the Camilla. Just to be safe. Hello, K Mario Soul Viewer. Hagu Wagu. 
Uh, hmm. This is a little bit tricky. We're going to use skill 3. We can go for the defense break on the Feng Yan right now if we have it. Okay, we're going to go for it. We land a stun on him. We're just going to target him for now. Okay, hopefully we can land a defense break this time around. And we should be fine. Stun. We don't get a stun. Defense break. Okay, nice. Decent damage. And now this time we should be able to kill him. We're going to do some damage onto Feng Yan. No stun, but we do finish him off. Now it's a 3v1 onto the Camilla. And let's try to wrap this one up quick. Nice crit, and we get the win. Alright, next up we're going to hit another one of these Vigor, Molly, and Fukis. This time we're going to use Praline, Kali, and Bethany. I'm kind of scared that my Kali won't have enough damage. And she might not, honestly. But let's see how this goes. So we're going to snipe the Molly first and then the Fuki. But hopefully we don't get cut here. Okay, we're going to get rid of the Molly. No problem. Now can we kill the Fuki? We need to kill the Fuki with this. Not enough damage. That is not good. Rip. No. Yeah, I need to build... I need my Kali to have her own set. I tried to throw on one of my Battle Angel Mon. I tried to throw on one of my Battle Angel sets on her and it just didn't work. Damn, another 9-1. Rip. Let's go ahead and check out the Kali set too. So this is her set. I did have more crit damage on her, but then she wasn't tuned with the Bethany. And then I do have plus win on the left. And skill 2 crit damage and it just wasn't enough. So I'm going to have to build her with her own set from now on and keep her ready. Because I had her on like a regular Fatal Blade set for, I don't even know, for R5 or something. Alright, this time we're going to come back into this one with Copper, Immensity, and Dozer. Originally, I had thought about using this team except that the Vigor's probably going to use skill 2. And then we're going to have to crit on the Fuki. And that's going to make it sketchy. But we're going to try it anyways. We're going to give a faster set to the Immensity real quick. All right, so here is the Bulldozer, Emesity, and Copper. We're going to risk it again. This one's going to be more sketchy than the last one, but I do need to get my attacks in right now because I'm probably not going to have time later. Okay, we're going to go for the boost on the Copper. We should be able to get rid of the Molly, no problem. Okay, thankfully he uses skill 3. Doesn't he? Why is he proccing so much? Okay, skill 2 pushback. Now we should have enough damage to eat through this Fuki, no problem. But yeah. My god, that Vigor was proccing like crazy. He's still proccing like crazy. Rafe, what'd you feed him? Okay, we're going to use skill 1. We don't stun. Skill 1. No stun again. Please stop proccing. Please don't proc anymore. Can we stun? This Vigor is going to solo us. I have a feeling. We're going to use skill 2. Pushback. Nice pushback. And can we... Okay, we get the stun finally. And we should be good. Damn, Wraith. What are you feeding this defense? Alright. I would not recommend this... De I would not recommend this offense, though. For this defense. Now, for this next one, we're going to hit this Nagong, Dominic, and Rakan defense. We're going to use Claire, Praline, and... Sonia, hopefully this one works. We're going to snipe the Nagong first and then go for the Rakan and hopefully that Dominic doesn't go too crazy. I assume we have enough damage, but we'll see. Let's see if the double snipe fails again this time. This time we should have damage though. I believe in them. I believe in my Nat 5 Kali. Okay, we're going to go for Nagong. 100k damage. Yeah, we for sure have enough damage. Now we're going to go for the Rakan here. Okay, nice. Now 3v1. And if this dude procs like crazy, we're probably screwed. Skill 3 coming out. Okay, he's under half health. And we should be fine. Oof. There you go. GG's. Alright, for the last defense, we're going to hit this Chandra, Savannah, and Nora. I'm going to bring in Feng Yan, Aaliyah, and Perna. I was going to bring in... 
Windy Camilla and Belial for this one. And I probably should. But we're going to go ahead and see if we can survive it. It has a really good win rate. Let's see if the Feng Yan can tank these hits. Sketchy. It's been a pretty sketchy siege. I'm not going to lie. I've been doing some pretty dumb stuff. But we should be fine here. Okay, we don't get defense broken. We're going to use skill 2. And we're just going to use skill 2 for now. Save the heal. We're going to target the... Chandra for now. Okay. We're gonna use skill two. Now this Nora was probably gonna strip us, so that was pretty unfortunate. That Savannah hits hard. That Savannah hits pretty damn hard. Okay, can we get rid of this Nora? No. Okay, the Chandra's gonna hug her. Ooh. This is not good. This is not good. <laughs> I can see why it has a good win rate. Okay, we get rid of the Nora. 2v3, skill 3 coming out. We're going to have to heal here. Now this Aaliyah needs to survive just a little bit longer. Never mind. Okay, Perna, come on. Okay, the Savannah is going to go down pretty easy though. Because she is doing a lot of damage. She's a glass cannon and we should be fine. That was sketchy though. I can see why that one was winning. The Savannah is doing hella damage. And we secure the 9-1 win. It's unfortunate we lost to the Fuki one. Shout out to Wraith for that one. Shout out to Candy Shop. Good luck in the siege. Same thing to Obsinos. Candy Shop, you guys are really cool. <laughs> Love you guys. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Let's go ahead and check out the contribution. We have Maggie at the top, followed by Pure. I'm in third. And yeah, we'll see how this siege ends up. Best luck to everyone. Shout out to Azrael. I guess I was bullying him last Siege video a while back. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you after the Siege. Okay, so here are the rewards from the Siege. 215 crystals, 589 guild points. I am recording this post-commentary. This is the only part of the video that's post-commentary. I do have a summon session after this, so stay tuned. Let's check out the contribution. What do we have? We have Dino Sam at the top with 225, then Simon and Kakashi. Pretty nice. We end up in rank 5, I believe. Not too bad. So we did end up getting second place in the Siege, which is what I wanted. Now you might be wondering, why would you want to lose? Why wouldn't you want to win? So if we get second place, that would actually push us down to G1. That way we would face a G1, potentially G2 guild. So in the next Siege, we should have an easier matchup. We win it and we secure G2. Whereas if we were to win it, We'd end up facing high G2, low G3 guilds, and if we lose that one, we could potentially just get kicked out and end up G1. I even put it in the guild notice to make sure to get second place. Some people wanted first, so we had a conflict of interest. Some people were going for first, some people were going for second, but it did put us at a better place to get G2 for this next siege. In the meantime, we are going to go ahead and summon some scrolls. We have 100 mystical scrolls. See if we can get anything good. This is probably going to be put at the end of the video anyways but let's see if we can get anything we get a lightning we get a mermaid i will take that all right let's see if we can get some lightning honestly okay we do get a lightning we get a phantom thief oh back to back we get a chakram so far pretty decent it's nice that they put the button right there. That way you don't have to back out and do this over and over again. Can we get a nat 5 though? We want to pop this blessing since our transcendent scroll summon wasn't that great. We got a dupe. Hopefully we pop it and hopefully it's not a dupe. Can we get the last Dokaibi Lord? We get a wind assassin. Alright. So, no lightning in this one. I asked one of my guildies to see his Kali. And my Kali was just completely off. It was missing a lot of crit damage. So that's one of the issues. So I'm probably going to give her a rage set. A fast rage set and just leave her like that. Okay. No lightning. We're probably not going to get a nat 5 in this one. A barbaric king. Man, oh, another lightning. 
a water sniper. 20 more scrolls left. Please come to us. Give us a nat 5. Imagine they have another compensation, a third one. That'd be sick. Alright, the last 10 mystical scrolls. Can we get anything good? We do have the refund though. So we can get a few back. And we have a wind scroll. Nothing. Fire scroll. Nothing. Alright, let's go check the refund real quick. Man, these ads that pop up are annoying. Okay, we're actually refunded 10 back. Let's see if we can get anything from these last 10. Come on, Nat 5. Nope. Come on, pop the blessing, pop the blessing. Another lightning, no Nat 5. Another lightning, come on. There we go. Are you serious? Did I get the water one again? Or did I get the Oliver? What would be more funny? I get the, the water one because he's like, what? He got another one? Damn, that sucks. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and feed that dude real quick. And then we're going to see if we can get some LDs off of it. If he gets buffed and he becomes OP, I'm going to be sad. Same thing with the Devil Mummy. Okay, we're going to buy some LDs. Three LDs. And let's see if we can get any LD Lightning. Please come to us. Give us a Fuki. A uh, Kinky. I have Fuki PTSD now. No lightning. Oh my god. My LD luck is so bad. I'm not going to get an LD Nat 5 by the time this this game dies. Another LD 5. That's it for this video. If you guys don't mind, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. The last siege of the season. You better stay tuned. See where we end up. Peace.